Morning folks, I hope you're really well. Welcome back to the Yorkshire Dales, God's own county. And we're back out, fully loaded, ready for another little bike packing adventure. Uh, starting in Horton and Ribblesdale this time. No particular route planned. Some kind of loop up into Wensudale. And I'm really looking forward to this one. I have a free weekend, which is pretty rare for me. It's a bank holiday, which is fairly rare. And there's absolutely no rain forecast whatsoever, which is practically unheard of. So yeah, come along for the ride, pun intended. And uh, let's see what this little tour throws up. Whew. I wish love was an easy song to write Cause I'd have pages worth of words that were not lies Your name would be the melody that's on my tongue Oh, if love was a simple song There are no words have been written or been sung But my ears have heard Or I've cheapened with my tongue To hold the weight Of this thing that we call love Oh, love's not a simple song Well, I was getting a little bit off route there Which is a funny thing to say when you haven't got a planned route, but I, uh, I want to drop in and include the mighty Ribblehead Viaduct today and I was just kind of heading in the wrong direction so doubled back and found a little bridle way that's taken me down onto the B road between Horton and Ribblehead so a few wasted miles in inverted commas but it's all good and uh, it's funny because I remember, oh, over 40 years ago as a kid doing the Three Peaks with uh, my dad and, and uh, various other friends and family and uh, doing that six mile slog from Penigent down onto the road and you probably have a 20 minute walk or so, maybe a bit longer or shorter, I forget, it's been a long time since I've done it, but the, uh, the little hot spots on your feet are forming, they're not blisters yet. And I distinctly remember as a little kid getting onto the road and thinking oh I wish I could just find a bicycle by the side of the road so I could kind of cruise down to Ribblehead Viaduct and then dunk my feet in the stream and uh, fast forward I don't know 43 years or so if that six year old boy could see me now on the bike on the road Cruising down through a bullhead. Oh. Happy days. Good night, pretty or poetic. I hope you know it's true. I'm not perfect in my ways, and I let you down most days. I know it's true, the darling I love. In a melody I like But without you by my side There's no harmony or rhymes Just a freight train rolling down The tracks of a lonely night Oh love, you are worth fire. Well, that was a pretty rubbish cup of tea if I'm being totally honest And a little tea van at Ribblehead it's absolutely packed today and a couple of yards away where I was sat is 
a guy sitting on a little uh, camping chair with a laptop. I mean, it takes all sorts to make the world go round, I suppose. Anyway, I'll be off this road in no time and then heading up left across the side of Bleemore, hopefully. And uh, that should be the end of the crowds for the day. It is a busy bank holiday weekend, but I'm uh, now getting a little bit further away from the kind of honey pot, honey spots, whatever you call them. And uh, beautiful Dale's solitude awaits. Ooh. Extra steps. Great little spot here with some running water, so I've um, just topped up all my water bottles, um, which is great because I know I now I now have God, I can't speak. I now have enough water for cooking, coffee in the morning, and uh, the kind of bladder that I've got in my rucksack is completely full as well. So happy days on that front. It's clouding over a little bit, which is nice. I'm not great in the heat and it's been blisteringly hot all day by my standards so I'm quite happy that it's clouded over and um, yeah business of the day now as it's getting late afternoon is just to try and find a nice spot I mean here would be lovely it's absolutely stunning around here but yeah just a little nice spot out of the way and then I'm going to get my camp set up, get settled in for the evening. Well folks, I've found where I'm going to camp tonight and I'm really pleased with this little spot and I'm also really pleased with the fact that it's only quarter to five. I haven't done what I always do. I've actually seen a place that looked promising and I am going to stop here. Um, it's very windy, I'm not sure if you'd be able to hear this but um, the trails just, or the kind of bridleways just over there 
it is line of sight but I think once I get down in the tent I'll be nicely um, out of the way and I haven't seen many walkers on this bridle way it's it's really quite quite deserted in fact so yeah next job let's get the tent out hopefully I brought everything <laughs> it's a little bit of a last minute trip this one but um, yeah let's get the tent up and then get some dinner on and um, oh this is just it's my new favorite spot in the Yorkshire Dales um, it's absolutely brilliant and uh, yeah okay let's get cracking <laughs> Going with the chicken tikka tonight. Fingers crossed it's edible. Right, let's have it eight minutes. It looks awful, but the proof is in the eating. So, summit to eat chicken curry. No, chicken tikka. It's all right because I'm hungry, but I might give that. Five out of ten. Anyway, cheers. So just stretching the legs and um, it's probably an hour, an hour and a half until sunset. trains on the uh, settled Carlisle, I can just hear off in the distance. What a spot, I mean it's um, really really peaceful, undisturbed, haven't seen another soul. Got a beautiful view of Ingleborough, you might not be able to see that on the camera but uh, just off in the distance you can see the kind of classic flat top. And we've got Wernside a little bit closer in the foreground. I can see all the way across into the Lake District, the high fells of the lakes, and then all the way up further north. The visibility is absolutely stunning, even though it's kind of clouded over a little bit. Temperature's dropped a little bit, um, so it is going to be a chilly evening. I don't think it'll go anywhere near freezing. I don't think we'll get a frost, but um, what a find! And, um, It really does make a change because usually about this time I'm still hacking around on my bike <laughs> trying to find somewhere to camp so a little uh, tick for uh, proper bike packing wild camping procedure. Anyway, where's this track going to take me? I'm not going to go right up to the top. Or should I? I don't know. What a place.
day we're all packed up and leaving no trace let's go day two Okay, so the plan this morning is to head over towards Hawes and hopefully there'll be a little brunch stop there and then I'm going to make my way off-road over the tops Oh sorry, I'm on a really steep hill, you probably can't tell uh, back towards Horton this afternoon I did punch in last night, I actually had a phone signal surprisingly so I've punched in a mountain biking track from Halls back to Horton the only slight issue I've got is my Wahoo element is down to 20% so I'm leaving it off this morning and more or less sticking to some minor roads to make my way over to Halls and then hopefully I'll have enough juice to get me back to Horton without getting lost and doing a million U-turns and zigzags like I did yesterday morning so that's the plan uh, it's another stunning day, it's a bit windier today I don't know if you'll be able to hear this, I haven't got my little wind sock on the camera but uh, yeah, looking forward to another day up in the dales Oh, what a view. I'll be a warm place to lay when you're feeling cold. And I'll be all in when you wanna fold. When we're dancing, life's dance. You'll be the partner I hold. You and me, together growing. I won't be perfect, but I promise I'll try every day for you And I will be Yeah, I will be I will be Whatever
a bit busier than it was yesterday morning when I got here. Right, let's get packed up and get going. Well folks, we made it back to the car safe and sound and I've actually just stopped off in Sattle for some salty crisps and an ice cold bottle of cherry coke which has really hit the spot. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching as always um, and if you would consider liking and subscribing, uh, it really helps me out and it's very much appreciated. It's helping me to get this little fledgling YouTube channel off the ground. Uh, what a fantastic little overnighter that was up here in the Yorkshire Dales, starting in Hortney Ribblesdale and looping out through Dentdale, Wensleydale, back over Doddfell and back into Horton. Um, very much recommended, apart from, excuse me, all the zigzags on day one. Anyway, please stay safe, take care and happy cycling. Bye.